Well, hello there, Internet. My name's Addison, and it's Wednesday, which means brand new comic books. I'm going to talk about what comics I bought and why I chose to buy those. The first thing that I bought was Starve issue number four, and I bought that because, like I said on my review of Starve issue number three, I'm really enjoying it. The artwork's great, the writing's good, which is surprising for me that I'm enjoying it so much because it's about a cooking show, and that's really not my jam. So, but uh, it is really good, and I started reading it without knowing that's what it was about, and it's been really pleasant ever since. So I'm really excited to see where it keeps going, and I'm not sure how long it's, the run is going to last. Uh, I can't help but imagine there's only a few issues left, because it's Image, and Image is doing these little mini-series. So, yeah. The second thing that I bought was Batman, issue number 44, which I'm excited about because it's something that's not involving the rabbit suit, and uh, it's kind of like a backstory, so it's got actual Bruce Wayne, I believe. Scott Snyder's still writing it. I think they brought in guest artists, but it looks really exciting. I haven't read a Batman story in a really long time, so I'm excited for that. The third and final single issue that I chose to buy this week was Red Hood and Arsenal issue number four. The reason I chose to buy this is because I'm not usually a big fan of Arsenal or Red Hood because Jason Todd is historically just kind of a douche uh, and Arsenal wears that stupid fucking baseball cap and it's always like repelled me why he wears that baseball cap I don't know maybe there's a good reason for him wearing a baseball cap Maybe he throws it like odd job I don't know I managed to read the first like page of it or the first couple pages and the interaction between Red Hood and Arsenal I really liked and Jason Todd didn't seem like a real douchebag and that was surprising to me and it got me excited and then lastly I bought the trade paperback of Jupiter's legacy uh, I read bought the first issue a couple weeks back and finally got around to reading it and really liked where it was going so I went ahead and bought the trade and I'm excited to finish the story that's going on there because it seems really good. So that's everything that I chose to buy. Uh, I tend to be very sporadic with my selection. I never even had a pull list up until just recently because there's a lot of new releases coming out in the next couple months that I'm really excited for. There's kind of like a new chapter, like a new wave. Everything's kind of post major event and good hopping spot for a lot of stuff is happening right now. I set up my poll list just recently because it's really important and it helps out your local comic book shop a lot if you go ahead and like pre-order and they have an idea of what they're going to need and how much they're going to need. It also goes a long way to letting the publishers know like which books are going to be doing well and it helps them with their numbers and everything and if you really like a book you really should pre-order it because that's going to let the publishers know that what creative teams are like working and what books they need to be keeping and everything like that and it really goes a long way to like supporting the entire comics community if you do set up pre-orders and everything like that. Other than that I'm gonna go read these motherfuckers, get something to eat, and then I'm gonna do pick my favorite and I'll let you guys know what that is and why it's my favorite and I'm excited to talk about that with you. Till next time. Boo 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 bo